Hey guys, so like a lot of you guys, I got a ring doorbell in front of my house, and if you have one of these, you know, uh, and they actually work pretty well. Um, the only drawback is that you got to pay a minimum of $4 a month uh, for the basic subscription service for that, and you know, on top of the price, which is a little bit higher than other brands to begin with, you still got to pay another uh, $4 a month just to use it. So today, I'm going to try a budget brand that I got from Amazon. And this one doesn't require any subscriptions. We're going to swap it out and we're going to see how well this one works. Okay, so let's take a look at this MUB view. It's either MUB view or MUB view. I really don't know. Smart doorbell. This is a non subscription um, doorbell, so that's exactly what I'm looking for. It uses the SD card to store video. This is the listing on Amazon right now. It's $54 with a 20% coupon, so minus around another $10. So it's around uh, $44 or so, uh, so, which is, I think, a really good price. A lot cheaper than my ring. Um, let's see, like I said, no subscription, SD card. I think uh, you can use subscription if you want to pay, but I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, so this is a uh, battery powered, so you don't need to do hard wiring. You just recharge the battery every, I think, 90 days or so, but we'll figure that out too. So let's unbox it. Let's see, it says... Two-way talk, voice changer, um, 2.4 gig. This doesn't work on 5 gig Wi-Fi's, okay? So you have to be on the 2.4 gig motion sensor, which is good, which is what I want. So it's very similar to my Ring doorbell, uh, except I don't have to pay a subscription. User manual. Okay, seems like a pretty, pretty well documented manual. Some some manuals are now. Uh, Budget things are very flimsy and uh, don't really help you too much. But uh, that looks pretty good. And we'll take a look at that later. Okay, so here's the doorbell itself. It's a good looking doorbell. With the mounting hardware. All right, let's see what else. Okay, I think this is the chime, the remote chime. I wonder if this is actually even a speaker intercom too. Don't know. Triple A powered batteries. And it gives you triple A also. What else here? Some screws. Then yeah, put it in the wall, cable. And it looks like a little tool. Like a little reset type tool when you push a little button or something. And I think some tape for mounting. All right. So let's read the directions and give it a shot. All right. So online, you know, 1080p, two-way talk, um, multiple user sharing. So that's important because my family uses it. And uh, it does say 90 days of battery life. So, like my ring, that's got a different uh, uh, human detect uh, sensitivity. So it goes from ten to thirty. Free lifetime seven day cloud storage. That that's actually not bad. I mean, if you don't pull your video in seven days, uh, maybe it's not that important to you. So that's not too bad. But uh, I'll be using an SD card. All right, loud siren. All right. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I removed the ring doorbell and I'm gonna keep this slanted uh, mount on and I'm just gonna mount it right over it like that. So it came in here and you use this pin and you poke it in that hole to release it. So that's how it releases. And then I'm gonna mount this onto my board. Okay, so next, we're going to uh, sync up the chime. I got the batteries in. Go. Click the settings button. 
Okay, that should be pairing mode. Press the doorbell. Okay, there we go. All right, so now that's paired. So let's install this up there. Okay, that should do it. That in, click. That's it. It's fully installed now. Let me take out this. Take a look at what it looks like. Good looking unit. So I'm going to start using the app and trying this out for a while. See how well it works and how it compares to my ring. All right. So here's the app and there's my front doorbell. Let's take a look at it. See what it looks like. Go through all that. All right, there's the picture quality, which let me zoom in. I think looks pretty good. I think it's sharper than the ring doorbell, which makes sense because my ring doorbell is old. Um, but I could I could actually hear sounds, maybe birds chirping or something like that. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna try out the motion detect and all these things. But first, let's uh, try out the doorbell. See how it works. I'm going to need my wife's help for that. Hello? Hello? Can you see and hear me well? Yes. All right. Thanks. Bye. Here's a nighttime screenshot. I think it looks pretty clear for the night shots too. All right, so we've been using this for a little over a week now and uh, comparing it with our previous Ring doorbell, really don't see any advantage of the Ring over this other than having some uh, videos stored on their cloud. But, you know, this video is stored on the SD card, so that's fine with us. I <laughs> I, it does. I, I just can't even think of any advantage other than that of the four dollars a month uh, service fee that we paid for the Ring. So I think all the alerts are good. The, the camera is actually better than my Ring because I have an older Ring model, and uh, the video is actually a little bit faster than the Ring, my older Ring. Actually, I can think of another advantage that the Ring has over this, and it actually might be a disadvantage to uh, some people. They might prefer this is that um, the ring has a hardwired option where you could you know connect it to your old ring do your old doorbell and that powers it uh, this has a rechargeable battery that there's no wiring at all you, you just recharge it. it the battery looked like it it the battery meter didn't move very much from the week and a half or so that we used it so I, I think it'll last a pretty long time uh, between recharging but that's an advantage and a disadvantage. So uh, for those that are scared of hard wiring, th this is great. <laughs> the battery lasts a long time. And uh, for those that, that aren't scared of hard wiring and, and they want to use that power to recharge the, the doorbell, you know, then the ring might have the advantage. But like I said, you know, it seems like it, it lasts a pretty long time. I think they advertise it over 90 days. You know, so, you know, you don't have to recharge it that often. So for me, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this. Okay, so here's a close-up shot of my doorbell and this mounting thing, I, I rigged myself, so that doesn't come with it. That, that's my own thing, that's the way it looks. And um, in terms of recharging the battery, that's, that's where I'm lucky because I have an outlet right there. So take that out right there. So every so often when I need to charge, I don't have to remove it or anything. I just plug it in there. Let it charge for a couple of hours, unplug it, and I'm good to go. Well, since the install was so easy for the front door, I got a second one that I'm just going to use here for my side gate. <laughs> 